Okay there, folks. Right, got a serious one here. We do them from time to time. If I think they need to be read, I'll read them out. Or said, I'll say them out. I'm going to actually read you something now, so the bins are going to go on, but it's only a couple of paragraphs long. You'll have to excuse me for bending down a little bit to read it. You're going to see the, the rather thinning patch. Nothing I could do about that. I'll read it out to you, then I'll give you my take on it, my comment, because you know I've always got to take on everything, don't you, folks? Right, this says, it's in the paper today. It's under the title, Not All Iranian Tyrants Are Men. Not All Iranian Tyrants Are Men. Please forgive the quality of my reading. I'm not the best reader in the world. And so it starts. Another innocent young victim succumbs to Iran's vicious morality police. 16-year-old Amita Gerevand has died after sustaining se severe injuries while being dragged from a train for not wearing a headscarf. What's doubly awful about her tragic death, well, murder, actually, is that the officers involved were female. What kind of a woman does such a thing to another woman? There is a special place in hell for people like that. That was the newspaper, and that was the take of the person that wrote the story. My take would be pretty similar. Um, only I would, I would like to add to that, as I've said many times in the past. What is it about this world? I know we have our different religions and different cultures, and to a great degree, I respect everybody's religion and culture. got no problem with that. As I've said many times in the past, I've not got even that much of a racist bone in my body, not at all. But what I do disagree with is, why in so many religions and cultures are women told that they've got to do this or that? They can do this, they can't do that. The penalty for this will be that. But if men do the same, there's no penalty. I just don't get it at all. It's an oppression of women virtually throughout the world. And I, I don't understand it. And I don't believe it's because religions have told men to treat women this way. I think it's that men in certain countries and of certain religions see themselves as the dominant species and have always wanted to be and like to keep and put women in the place. And should they step out of line in any way, shape or form that doesn't suit the man, they do whatever it is they want to towards them to stop it happening. It's just shocking. I seen again only the other day, I think at long last, they're gonna, I think there's a woman, is it from Britain? I think she's, I don't know if she's Somalian in descent, descent or somewhere like that. She's actually getting done. She took a three year old daughter to Somalia. Again, a country in Africa, I can't remember where, you know, to have the old, is it the FGM, the female uh, genital mutilation? And I've always said, all right, that's well and good. If you want to do that to young girls, do that to them, that's fine. But, Let's do the same to blokes over there. The blokes won't have the knackers cut off, would they? No, but they'll, they'll do it to young girls. Young girls are no, oh, no, no better. Must go through lots and lots of pain and lots and lots of shame. And when they get older, thinks to self, "Who's ripped me apart? Who's done this to me? Why would why would people who love me do this?" It's anyway. That's a totally different ball game. But but then again, it's not. I just I don't understand why women are treated like this throughout the world. I really, really don't. So a young girl there on a the train didn't have a headscarf on, three or four, five or six female police officers have pulled her off the train, dragged her off so viciously that it's killed her in the process. Crazy. Them women that have done that have got to live with the rest of their lives if they can, well then that's fine. But I do hope that the, somewhere along the lines they, they, um, they gather a conscience and that conscience makes the later life much more awful than the current life is. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe there'll come a day, maybe, when they regret what they've done. Maybe there'll come a day when somebody does exactly the same to them. Now, now, um, I wouldn't mind it as much then. I mind what's happened to this young girl. I think it's shocking. But should it happen to those police officers further down the line, I'd have absolutely zero sympathy for them. And I mean zero sympathy. Honestly, this world can be a cruel place from time to time. It really, really can. And it's weird because it doesn't have need to be. You know, it doesn't have need to be. Why on earth can't we just all get on and let people live their own way? Let them... Do as they want to do, be what they want to be. Crazy.